<laughs> Fine. But I didn't keep running. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> I honestly thought I was tempting fate with that one. No! Why is this becoming such a chore? hitbox. It doesn't make sense. Okay, so hopefully even if I'm not expecting to break one of those, this one will... Well, I caught it anyway, but I was hoping that even if I like went, oh, whoops, I would get like, uh, what am I trying to say here? Clip into the floor anyway. Alright, now this is just doing the dirty work. I don't like it. And the most stupid shrink rays, I hate it. Now, what I don't understand about that is why would you stand underneath where that would be if you could just jump over it anyway? I guess maybe they're trying to get the jerk who try or the dude who tries to slide under those, which you don't want to do, and maybe the only reason I jumped is because I saw that there. Anyway, we have finished the final level. We have but one thing left to do. We're gonna listen here first. The last Crash Bandicoot dance with this playthrough. Now we're gonna listen. <laughs> yes! My plan is nearly complete. And I have you, Crash Bandicoot, to thank for. Engine! What's happening? What's that? Is he stealing our signal? Vortex he has built on his space station. 
When did he become a Jedi? Alright, so yeah, Cortex was using us all along. I feel hurt and betrayed. I would have never expected it. Anyway, welcome to the final battle of Crash Bandicoot 2. The jetpack controls. <laughs> nah, really, the fights against Cortex with the jetpack controls are your real worst enemy here. It's probably gonna take me a few tries. Edit all of it out. No! Oh! Never mind! Yahtzee! First try! My skills with this game have finally come out to play. It only took all of it. <laughs> okay, so when it rolls into the credits here, I'm just gonna stop recording and then because we're gonna see the credits again here in a second. So, uh, yeah. See you all in a moment. Alright, well, yeah. Receiving all the gems if we go up again. He takes us to his laser. We get to gaze upon the fruits of our labor. Something tells me that's not all 42 of them. I've never taken the time to sit there and count them out. Zero out of ten, no belly flop on the laser switch. Alright, anyway, now we're on to the credits that are actually being recorded. Um, yeah, this game is always been a game that I've loved to play through every now and then. It's nice, chill, beat it in a little while. Just a relaxing thing to do while I try to test the waters of Let's Playing and such. Now, this is easily one of the worst playthroughs I've had since I was a wee little lad, but, you know, at the very end of the game, my usual finesse with this game came out and I <laughs> did the Cortex fight in one go. Although, that one can be laughably easy, depending on how it goes. It's all a matter of the rocket controls and such. Anyway, I'm glad I tried this regardless, because it's something I want to keep doing with other games. Like, I didn't want to start out with Legend of Zelda or Metal Gear Solid for my first Let's Play because I want to get good at this before I do something that I truly love. And I really do love Crash Bandicoot games, it's just uh, they don't really 
I don't feel like... I feel like they're good starter games. Yes. Soundtrack by Mutiko Mizuki. And uh, I kind of didn't get to say the rest of those, but whatever. Very good soundtrack. Clancy Brown is the voice of Cortex. I'm getting sidetracked by the credits. I don't really think I had much else to say, though. Just, I enjoyed this. And hopefully the next game will be even more fun to do than this one. So until next time, Reaper Hunter 23, thank you for watching. I bid you adieu.